What's up guys, Aqua Supreme here, back with another video. I hope you're doing well and I hope it's going good that side. Going brilliant here, we zooming. <laughs> yeah, I got myself some more Brissonose Plecos, the super red ones, super red strain color. Yeah, that one. Yeah, I'm excited for it. I'm going to be placing it into the black tank. Let's get into the video. So as I've done before, I'm just going to place these plecos inside of this container bucket pot whatever you call it um and then i'll be trip acclimating these guys i'm not going to show you that because i did in the last pleco unboxing video so yeah let me do that and then i'll get back to you guys with an update on how the tanks are looking and how the plants have settled in Right guys, so here they are, fully acclimated, still healthy and happy. They are looking a bit darker, but I hope these aren't calicos. If they are calicos, I will lose my mind. Yeah, I'll lose my mind, um, but we'll see when they grow up and when they breed what they are, but I hope they're super reds. They were labeled as super reds. They were sold to me as super reds and they were at a super reds price. So it has to be a super red. <laughs> and then update. They're doing good while well, they in there haven't died, but I do expect them to start melting back soon. I have one shrimp that I see. I don't know where the other is. I think the other one is dead. I'll look for him. Um, I did a water change on this tank, so it is a bit dirty. And update on the last video, um, when I did add in all these plants, I did find my fifth one. So now it's time to add in my plecos that are going in here. I don't have any case for them because I did realize that they don't use the caves at this moment. So I'll buy it at a later date and I'm just going to add them in this tank right now so let's get to that i'm going to try and do this with one hand don't do this at home i am highly against it just to but i just got to show you guys them entering get in get in there we go oh, i completely dirty up the water now but there they are all five of them they look much better under the light. Now we hope they survive. And then we have, I'm going to have to clean out this tank, <laughs> but we hope they survive. And then we'll have a beautiful breeding colony, hopefully, if they are male and female, but we'll figure that out later on. All right, guys, it's been a few hours since I put my plecos in their new home, so the first behavioral traits that I've seen of these plecos is there is two bigger ones that are about three centimeters, 3.5 centimeters. And that's, I think that's two inches um, that keep on fighting. So I think I'm going to have to get caves sooner than later or earlier than I thought. Um, I like them. I like the plecos and really, they're really starting to develop a soft spot in my heart. And I'm definitely going to keep growing in them, um, getting more species and one day going up to the owl numbers. Um, but thank you so much for watching, guys. I know this video was short. I just wanted to show you them and update you guys on what's going on. But yeah, that's it for me. Peace.